Salem, Ohio here. A uh, little update. Um, my GoPro took a crap, so back on the phone again. Uh, <laughs> uh, second hull started that uh, yesterday and started doing the uh, epoxy in the fillets on the bottom on the keel area. I put my fin in I was telling you guys about to fill that space between the skeg and the keel. Give it a little more uh, straight upwind kind of stuff, you know. I can go deeper into the wind. Uh, uh, they have a problem with these boats uh, um, crabbing sideways and going upwind and stuff, so. I decided to put that in and see if that doesn't help. I saw that on a boat, uh, Catamaran Ariki. Uh, she put put that on hers and said it really made a big difference. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how that works. And that's where I'm at. Phillips and sanding, 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 sanding. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, my arms are wore out from the sanders though. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. You, I flipped it over, got the tops already fiberglass and got a little bit of um, filler and work done on the bottom, so on, on the top, which is on the bottom now. Done it first. Now I'm gonna get the bottom done, fiberglass, paint the bottom, flip it back over, paint the top, so. But yeah, this is uh, several coats. First one was high density filler mixed with epoxy uh, for strong, for a strong uh, fillet. And then uh, I started mixing in a little bit of uh, low density, which is better for sanding. And done my second coat over that and it makes it a little smoother. And the next one will be even more of the low density and a little bit less of the high density. So I mix them together a little bit as I go on each coat. And then it'll be fairing on top of that. So I already got a little bit of the fairing done on the cabin down there, but uh, I tried to get as much done on that cabin as I could before I flipped it. That way when I paint this side and flip it back over, there's not much to do. Uh, good sanding down and smoothing up and then put some paint on it. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. And got the other one over there hiding under that um, cover. So I won't get anything on it. It's done paint wise. So all I need is uh, hatches and windows on that one. Get this one done, get this caught up to that one. Then I can get all the hatches and windows in and line everything up. I need a big space to line it up so I can square everything and mount my cross beams. And it's 10 foot six to the center of one hull to the center of the other hull and then square it and then you put your locating blocks in for your beams. That way it'll be square and at the right width. So that's what I gotta do. Start filling all these holes up uh, with epoxy. That's where it's screwed together when we were gluing all the wood together. And once it's dry, you can take all the screws out, fill the holes, fill it everything, sand it all smooth and you're ready to go. Man, I can't wait to get this thing in the water. All right, guys, later.